What's up everybody, welcome to the show. This right here is a quick tutorial on my two sniper builds for Grey Zone Warfare. Now, depending on the level vendors you have for all this, the builds might vary, but I'm gonna go into detail with that. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. We're gonna start off with the M700. This is probably the best bolt action rifle in the game. There's only two, as far as I know. So running the Remington M700 has been quite a treat. It's been pretty good. It's pretty much my main sniper at this point. So to kit it, you're going to want the uh, SRD 7.62 QD mount. It's, it's so you can lock the uh, suppressor on it. And then you're going to go ahead and get the uh, 7.62 suppressor. Obviously, these are both going to come from Banshee. Okay, Banshee level 2. If you do not have Banshee level 2, you would be stuck using the M700, the standard M700. And that's fine too. We're going to be putting this on a 22 inch barrel. If you have Banshee 3 and you have the 26 inch barrel, that's great. But for now, for this, I have Banshee 2, and this is just fine. 22 inch barrel. If you're building it from base, you're going to have the M700 stock to put the barrel in. And then as far as scopes go, you're going to want the M700 Picatinny rail with the 30 millimeter O-ring mount because we're going to be using the Viper. Viper's a big scope. This is going to be, I think, the biggest scope in the game. It's a 25X. If you don't want to do that, you can still run the uh, Voodoo with the 34 millimeter mount and all is well with that. So for AI and pretty much all of your first engagements when you get Banshee level two, if you're building this, you're gonna be running M80s, the FMJ. You can get those from Gunny for $2 a round. You can also get them from Banshee. Now, if you're going into a little bit more of a P PVP centric area, a lot of tier two places, you're gonna be trying to put a little more damage through armor. As far as I can tell, the M80s, the uh, A1s, is going to be a little bit better for uh, effective armor penetration. So try to chamber those. They're going to be $3 a round. So that's the M700. With both of these builds, I do like to, to bring a sidearm. Sometimes I bring a whole ass M4 in my bag. Other than that, I'll do a pistol. And it's kind of basic. I put the Viper on it. You need the threaded barrel from Gunny and then the suppressor from Gunny as well. So that's my sidearm. And as far as ammo, it sucks. But the 919 Penetrator P+. <laughs> so now let's go on to the Mosin. The Mosin is dirty. So the Mosin is going to be chambering 762 by 54 and this is pretty much how I build it. It's straight up. You're going to be going to Artisan, getting the base Mosin, and then getting the Archangel, putting it together. Um, if you have her level 3, she kind of sells it straight up like this with the actual razor attached to it. But I went ahead and put a Voodoo on mine. I like this reticle. I like this psych picture. I don't really like the red reticle of the other Voodoo. I think it's the 1x6 Voodoo. So we're going to be attaching the stock, making sure we get the uh, suppressor, the tri-rail, which is going to also be artisan right here for $29. Then you're going to get the 34 millimeter ring mount from Gunny and then get the Voodoo from Banshee. If you don't want to run the Voodoo, you can obviously change the ring mount and go ahead and get the Razor from Gunny level three, or you can throw a Spectre on it. I've done that as well. So that's pretty much the build right there. Again, we're going to be bringing a Glock for a sidearm. Now let's talk about rounds real quick. The seven and ones from Artisan are going to be primarily what I'm shooting at AI and things like that. I don't really mess with the LPS anymore. The seven and one center mass will do a lot of damage and sometimes one shot. And then if I'm in a PVP area, I do like to keep a few 7 and one threes in my butt, just in case things are getting a little squirrely and I want to chamber some of those to try to one-shot some chads running around Hunter's Paradise or Van Pai or something like that. But that's the two rounds for now. So that's it, guys. It's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of options with bolt action sniper rifles in Grey Zone Warfare just yet. They are very fun to shoot. I see one of them. Suppressed shot at me. One bird. Oh. So yeah, my number one is going to be this M700. My number two is going to be the Mosin. Also, guys, we have the Collective. I'm going to put a link in the description below. A lot of chill guys in there, man. A lot of good players. We've been doing fob raids, campaigns into certain tier two areas, filling a fob with 12 to 14 people sometimes, making sure we can trade off PvP and help each other out around the main. It's been a lot of fun, man. The faction play in this game is absolutely pivotal to your success, especially as the missions get harder and you're going into tier three zones. So I would recommend joining that. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.